circumstance of enhancing my passion, but fatigue is passing. Sometimes I feel like crushing, but here the old spirit's lasting. So pick myself up and start laughing. With a live longer, won't kill our hunger of our dreams. Cause you know what life see, release your inner peace before you decease. So you gotta stand up and believe in your family. First time when I got the news, I was about 25 and they did the sugar test. I just remember the doctor saying to me, um, you know, I'm um, sorry to say that you have, you know, type two diabetes and that. Yeah, it was kind of a mixed emotion feeling and fittest one in the family and, you know, it wasn't really, you know, drinking and partying up, you know. I think it was more kind of shocked. The way I feel about diabetes now, it's more like I can control it and it's not as scary. You know, so before it was kind of like maybe a bit of denial. It is a serious condition, but to me it's an, an easy thing to manage and, you know, control. And that's what my dad always says. As long as you control it and look after yourself, he said it, it, won't, it won't even bother you. I get a lot of support, you know, my, uh, my son, he's always like looking at what I'm eating and that and always telling me off. It's my dad from the beginning, he's always but he's that kind of constant way of <laughs> coming across like a father. You know, you always be on top of you know, medication, always, you know, look out for these things. Um, you know, my partner, it's kind of, we take a lot of jokes out of it sometimes, you know. She'll say things like, if people ask me, she'll come across and says, no, he can't have it, he's diabetic, you know. And so, so we have a laugh and I'm like, you can't be telling people that, you know. <laughs> Yeah, we just try to always eat, you know, the right food and, and, and get away from that processed stuff. Uh, you know, mainly like the lollies and chocolates and sugar drinks, you know, stuff like that, you know. Even some things that you don't realise where there's high sugar in, you know. We need to uh, attack where our big problems are. Diabetes is, I reckon, is at the top of the list. Just with the medication alone is just scary because how much medication you have to take for diabetes. And then you've got to have a working refrigerator for other med medicines like for diabetes, you know? And some of these don't even have a fridge. So it's, it's scary, you know? And it's, I think it's very much serious than um, people are taking it. You don't realise the opportunities that come arise, you know, when you, you become diabetic. <laughs> like you look into food more, like ingredients, and you start reading the back. You learn so much more about different people, different cultures, you know, variety of food, and what's healthy and what's not. And then that just opens up more doors, you know. I know you might feel robbed or, or you feel like, you know, the world's against you or something's not fair, but it's definitely not a death sentence. It's just another, you know, obstacle in life that we all get and we've got to get through it. You know, little few little changes in that, you know, you can, um, you, you can make things happen, you know, with your diet and stuff, you can still kind of eat some of the things you like, you know. You know, music and sport helped me at the time. Um, always, you know, expressing, you know, my thoughts and feelings, you know, through music. It's never the end, you know, it's just the beginning of something else that it's a, a new chapter, you know, in your life.